Hi, I'm John Mark Miravalli with Those Catholic Men. A couple years ago I read John Steinbeck's Grapes of Wrath, and I was so impressed with how in a farming family there's no disconnect between the father's work and his family life. There's no foreignness, because everybody's helping out. Everybody recognizes that a farm is a family project, and if you can help out, you must help out. And now I feel like we've lost that, maybe with urbanization and the specialization of our different trades. I know accountants whose kids don't know how to manage their own finances, and I know venture capitalists whose kids don't know the first thing about investing. I know guys whose kids haven't the foggiest idea what their own dad does. And that's really a problem. It's a problem when a father comes home and says, I don't want to talk about work. Or when he comes home and the mom says, yeah, we don't want to hear about work. Because any lack of integrity between a man's public professional life and his private life is going to do damage to him and to the family that he is supposed to be promoting. I'm very grateful that my dad taught me his trade. I do what my dad does. And even if my kids don't do what I do, I want them at least to have whatever I can give them has tools at their disposal. My kids want to help me. And it's difficult. I'm not a farmer. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher at a graduate school, and it's hard for me to know how can they really participate, how can they really understand, but okay, that's just a better challenge for me. Because they deserve it. They deserve the ability to know what I do. They deserve the ability not to be kept out of a certain section of my life. They deserve the ability to benefit from what I've learned doing what I do. The most beautiful thing I ever learned about a father passing on the tools of his trade was an ancient Christian commentator talking about what did St. Joseph have to give our Lord. He didn't give him his nature. He got that from Mary and the Eternal Father. He didn't give him sort of information because our Lord was omniscient. What could St. Joseph teach him intellectually that he didn't already know? But what this commentator said was St. Joseph gave our Lord what every father should give his child. He taught him his trade. He taught him how to work with wood and nails. And wood and nails is what Jesus used to save the world. Let's be very intentional about giving our kids the truths and the skills of our trade, about making them feel part of our work, because who knows in the providential scheme what God can do through them with the resources you give them.